Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin with the Van Kooks. Um, I've been getting a lot of inquiries about this Subaru here. It's a 2008 um, Outback that I've converted into my part-time home. Me and Danny both have shacked up in here for some time. So today, I'm gonna get some measurements because I've been asked hundreds of times, emailed, and I'm gonna get them to you guys today. So I'm gonna head over here in the shade and measure this out and then you guys can convert your own. So real quickly before we start, I'm just gonna show you kind of how what this is. So this is just a bed frame here. It's built out of plywood. Um, I have storage under here. I have bins that fit perfectly in here. And then you can lay back and that back headrest even flips up when you put the seat up. So I'm six over six feet tall. I can lay down and comfortably sleep in it. And the cool thing about this whole setup is this top part can come here and the seats can flip up. Or if you don't want it at all, it very easily pulls out and you can store it in your garage or wherever if you need to carry bigger items. Okay, so this is essentially what the platform looks like in the back of the bed when it's stacked up and you have the seats up. So this is the store away mode. Now I'm going to start to show you how um, everything basically is put together. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do to make this. It's pretty easy. It only took me probably about a half day. The carpet took a little bit longer. But that was just preference. You don't need to do the carpet, but I recommend it because you will be laying on it. So what you need is you'll need a handsaw. You will need a screw gun. You will need a four by eight sheet of quarter inch plywood. You will need three 38 inch long. They're going to be your side posts. They're seven and a quarter inch tall boards. I just bought them as pine um, boards. You will need two two by fours, or not two, just one. I actually just use scrap. I use one buys, but I would recommend using two buys. And I just found those as scrap. I'll have all the dimensions out. Danny's gonna draw a nice thing up. You need two door hinges, you'll need wood screws, and you'll need some specific two inch wood screws for side stability and washers. All right, so the first thing I did was I cut out this plywood top piece. It's 39 and 3 quarters inches wide and about 35 and 1 quarter inch long. So what I did was I cut this piece out. Then I, for my sides here, these sides, these are just pine boards. But I believe they're 7 and a quarter inch tall. You can go as tall as you feel comfortable. I thought this was a good height because you don't have a lot of headroom in the Subaru. So I went with the seven and a quarter inch. I bought them in eight foot pieces. They're about 38, they're 38 inches long here. I didn't cover these because these aren't seen. You'll cut three of these 38 inch pieces. I even kind of round beveled my edges a bit just for looks. And it's not the sturdiest. I literally just screwed these through the top. So that one's just for center support. I did this length because I had bins that fit perfectly in here. And then you'll notice here on the back, I just used these one bys because they were scrap wood that I had, but a two by four would do the trick. And this little space here so you'll notice there's a space here and that's where the other platform this piece here will actually rest on it when it's in the car so oh i also have a, a little four inch um four by one this is only one inches here. Center beam here. And I have more of these wood screws with washers just to provide something with a little more strength. I just, I just did normal screws here. So that is the base. Um, 
I'll show you this this screw here why that's important but that'll be later so moving on <laughs> this is your upper bed so this is the part that's gonna move and sit on this ledge this was fairly straightforward Stay there. so it's a 46 inch this is a little bit wider than the bed because the way the car is it just widens out in the back this is where the wheel wells are so it is a 46 inch wide 27 and one quarter and that's just a single board cut these are door hinges and this measurement here is nine and three quarters the length and again it's 46 inches long so you'll cut those two pieces and this is an important piece here so you can see it better put it here so this is um, what sits on the, the uh, chair, the seat, to make it level. And it just so happened to work out that a one by, two one bys were perfect. And since I was dealing with scrap wood, that's kind of why I have these gaps. So I just have small little cuts of one by here, here and there. You could just do a two by four if you have the same year as mine. Some of the newer ones might be different, but how I discovered this was I put the plat, I built the back platform, I put this board on top, and then I put some wood under and leveled it all out. All right, so yeah, once you figure out what you need to get this level, I would, if you do go with the carpet, this is just the cheapest carpet per square foot they sell at Home Depot. It's probably the same in every area. I would wrap it first and then attach it. It will make your life easier. Then you're just going to probably wrap everything before you put it together. And then after you wrap it, you're going to just attach your door hinges on here so you can have that and then that will be done and then you can see if you want to just get a detail Danny of just kind of this so you can see this is uh that is where the bed will sit I have it written down here it is a two and a half inch gap here so it's basically just enough for the two by fours and this board and what you do here is you're gonna lay the board on in the car and then you're gonna drill down through the top piece into this board because that is what's gonna be your pin and I'll show you how the pins work in the car but that's what's gonna hold it all together when it's all put together so now we're gonna throw it back in the car real quick and I'll show you how it all gets put together Okay, so we're going to slide it back in. Come in closer, babe. And just notice how it fits in here. So I, I have a little bit of breathing room on the wheel wells. You could obviously go tighter here if you wanted. That would just mean you'd have to have this be wider, the width of your bed. I just missed it a bit I guess I don't know why mine's not flush um, <clears throat> but yeah so then you can see under this this is why I divided these all right so this is the reason why my um, center beam is you could obviously do yours in three sections but I just have these rubber made bins and they shove in there and it fits perfectly um, you could just go to Walmart and measure a ton of bins and I'm, or Home Depot or container store or wherever and you can find what you need. Um, you'll also notice I have some room here on the sides for storage. So I got a power inverter in here because the Subaru has a plug for it. And I also plug in a, uh, I have an old school Outback fridge from the 
probably early 2000s. So now I'll show you how the back piece goes in. All right, so you're gonna wanna screw your seats all the way out before you put these in, cause it'll make life easier. And then it only fits through the side because it's too wide to go in the back because you have more width here in the back seats because you don't have the wheel wells. So you'll slide it in and give it a little adjust. So then you'll see the front of the side where I said you can just have the two by four go along the front. You can see why it's there. You can see how the seat kind of does a, you know, jets up. So we just sit, that helps us sit the bed on. And then you have to adjust the seats. When you push the seats all the way forward, you can actually push this down and wedge it in and it can be a flat base. So this is what I was talking about. When you drill through, these pins essentially are gonna keep the bed from sliding around. So then you just, it's just an easy carriage, it's a carriage bolt, I didn't mention this one yet. It's probably about a two inch carriage bolt and you do the carriage bolt so it's flat and it's not some rough bolt that's gonna rub on your hip in the night. So you put those in on each side and once they're in, I mean, you can see I'm putting some force. I mean, the bed is in there. It's, it's sturdy. It's actually very comfortable. We then use our climate mats. I'll have the link in the description. They're on the other video and it actually makes a very comfortable sleeping area. And also you notice on the roof, we have a awning. And a rocket box, a fairly large one, and an old bike rack on the back. Okay, so now um, we're gonna put the bed up so we can have the seats back. And basically you're just gonna lift it up and you just get it up and over the seat, little clamps. And then you can see kind of the construction from the back again, how it sits, just kind of get an idea of how it's all pieced together. And then you can flip the seats up and you can have people sit in and then I'm gonna show you around back what I do. So you notice that it sits at a downward slant, but I added just, just a couple inch blocks here and it's a, it's just maybe for aesthetics I did it, but it actually kind of works as a now, it's like a double tiered storage as well. So it kind of cleans things up. You can stash things way under here. It actually stays moderately cool in here. One thing I would tell you to do if you were doing this is to get some type of window shade because it's not the most private thing sleeping in the car. Someone can just roll up and kind of shine a flashlight on you. But um, yeah, that's it. We're going to take off because we're getting threatened of getting kicked out of this private park because we're just a bunch of kooks. <laughs> but thanks for watching. We'll have more videos. Um, I made this video because people kept asking. So we're going to do more of those. And we'll see you guys around.